Hello again. I'm back in a very special place on the Isle of Skye in Scotland for the first wild camp test of the Lanshan 2 Pro over there on the Kerrang. That's looking south down the Trottenish Ridge, which I did when I did the Sky Trail in September last year, about nine months ago. And the Kerrang. And you can see the path leading away all the way through the gap where that rocky outcrop is over there. And it's in that area that I spotted some great wild camping spots. And I thought, one day I might come back and camp there. Well, this is that day. And the view out east to the sea. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, it's, come on. it's okay, you come through. Uh, take your time, it's okay. Yeah, do you want me to take a photo for you? No, I, I'm doing a walk past, it's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where can I check you out? <laughs> what name? Justin Whiting. Justin Whiting, okay. I'll look. <laughs> <laughs> and if you subscribe, you'll be a part of a very exclusive club. <laughs> 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 Enjoy. Thank you, enjoy. It's quite a bit later in the day now and I came back after all the visitors and day trippers had gone and the, uh, the trail was nice and calm with nobody around. Uh, it's about half seven now but because we're in the north of Scotland and it's late July the sunset's still very late. We've got it, still got at least two and a half hours of daylight so it's not too cold and uh, it's going to be wet and windy tonight though so a good test for the tent. What a place this is, so atmospheric with the mist. I've reached the dramatic rock formations you can see behind me on the Quirang and I've also found the campsite so I'll go and get pitched up and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the pitch for tonight then. So I've pitched it down in this little hollow here which is very well protected from the wind and I've pitched the doors so that uh, one of them is east facing in the hope, the vain hope perhaps, <laughs> of getting a sunrise in the morning and uh, if I just pan around as well you can see the Trottenish Ridge or at least some of it under the cloud. It's quite calm at the moment and it's not raining uh, so I've been able to take my time selecting a pitch and uh, pitching it properly and doing the guy lines and everything. I'll take you down and show you. It is reasonably level, <laughs> as, as level as you could expect up here. Um, and it's lovely velvety turf, soft. Um, so I'm hoping it's a pretty good pitch. You can see the grass. It's going to be pretty windy so I've put rocks on all of the uh, tent pegs just in case and because it's going to rain tonight I pitched up 
the bathtub floor and the, the tent poles about as high as I dare it's a bit of a balancing act tonight between the wind and the condensation and the rain so that's the whole point of the test and um, I'll take you inside for a bit of a look here we go then I'm going to keep the rucksack inside the tent just in case it gets really windy it's not super wet anyway so that'll be okay I've got plenty of water I've got a Thermarest Pro Light regular sleeping pad. I've got an OEX sleeping bag. Uh, it's not an expensive one. Evolution X Fathom EV 200, whatever that is. I think it goes down to plus five degrees Celsius, but that's okay for me. Or it might be minus. Can't remember inflatable pillow it's not one of the sea to summit i think it's a trekology one and night clothes food and the old cook kit and that's my setup it's starting to rain now so i better get inside it's the first time I've used a microphone on the hills as well, so hopefully it'll be better audio. Let me know what you think. few noodles and a nice ham cob from a local bakery. So it's finally dark at half past ten at night and it's time for me to get some kip but I'll see you in the morning. morning it's five o'clock the next morning we're just before sunrise i don't think we're going to see much there it's heavily clouded um, but you never know it might burst through and um, the tent's still here This general billowing and buffeting from the wind has been going on all night and it looks quite slack the tent but that's because it's also been raining all night light rain not heavy rain um, you can see it's going there but um, yeah there was no condensation in the tent at all nothing and um, that's obviously a result of the, the airflow and the breeze so that's good and I could have pitched it a little bit lower to try and reduce that buffeting and, and billowing a bit more um, and maybe risk a little bit of uh, condensation but that's that's a good learning point none of the rocks have been pulled out so that's good and um, it's a su successful test so I'm pleased with that got my head torch on and one thing I've mentioned before is uh, the reflective bits on the tent you can see the two cones on the top if I just switch my head torch off I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera but it's really visible in real life and uh, those two shine quite brightly as do uh, 
uh, all the guy ropes just shine the torch down there so I don't know if you can see that and down the sides as well but you can uh, you can see it really well in in real life all of them glint in the dark or rather in the light and that's quite a good feature okay let's take a look inside then I've got my head torch on so the light is not brilliant apologies for that I haven't got a fancy camera I'm just using my phone so I'll show you into the corners first and you can see there's no there's no moisture at all on the bathtub floor nothing at all if I zoom in on the mesh you can see that there's no moisture picking up on the mesh at all that's bone dry and you can hear it fluttering away and it's been doing that all night so there's no collection of condensation there's nothing at all the merest starting of a bit of dew on the fly sheet but nothing nothing to worry about so in terms of condensation this was a really good test uh, because it was raining and I was in it for well six hours or so seven hours and there's not a drop like I say because it's being windy oh, there's a couple of drops down there look a few little tiny bits but that's all and like I say it was raining and I was in it at that length of time so I'm pleased with that that's quite good and that's my view out the tent not bad at all All packed up that was my pitch leave no trace I didn't start a fire or leave any litter of course and uh, it's getting a little bit brighter well that was a great wild camp and uh, thanks for joining me on that one and um, it's time to start the trek out and go and get some breakfast <laughs>